Hi beauties, it's Mika. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a collective haul for you guys. Um, I am officially on a low buy, so the shopping has been very minimum for me this month and it is killing me, but I did have some store credit at Sephora, so I picked a couple of things up and then I got a few things at Ulta and Mac. So, if you would like to see what I picked up, then just keep on watching. Let's first get started with MAC. I picked up a couple of things from their Toledo collection. I picked up two lipsticks. Um, the first one is in the shade Oxblood, which is this beige pinky nude shade peachy nude so I picked that up and the second lipstick I picked up is in the shade sin um, I always have to pick up something from the limited edition special packaging collections just something about them I just need them in my life so you know I love my dark vampy colors so this is part of the permanent collection but I didn't have it so I picked it up because it's in the limited edition um, packaging and I also picked up the shade um, oxblood in the lip glass um, this is very similar to Bijou from the Osborne collection. So I love that gloss so much, so I decided to pick it up. This kind of has some peakier, pinkier beige shades in it. So those are all the lip products. And then I picked up two of the blushes, the Kindergarten Red, and it looks like this. Um, I love the packaging. Uh, it's so so pretty the like the ombre effect the only thing is is these aren't like super pigmented so there is a kindergarten red and then I also picked up ripe peach and this is what the packaging looks like and there it is a peachy blush right there so that is everything that I got from Mac let's move on to Sephora so as I said from Sephora I, I returned some things so I had quite a bit um, of money in store credit so I picked up a couple of things that I have been wanting so first um, you guys may already know I picked this up because I posted a picture of this on Instagram but I picked up the new NARS all day luminous weightless foundation and let me tell you first off I love the packaging it's this very pretty frosted glass um, and it comes with a pump so I'm really excited to give this a try um, I do have it on today and I will be filming a first impressions review demo of this and a little spoiler I am liking this so far also from Sephora I picked up a uh, the Makeup Forever HD foundation I have this already but I decided to pick up a shade darker sometimes it could look a little ashy just depending and with summer coming up um, I love this foundation so much that I picked up a darker color so I picked it up in the shade in 178 this is 177 and this is 178 I'm not sure if you can tell this is just a little bit darker so I think I'll be mixing these two together because this is a quite a bit um, red orange undertone so we'll see how that works and then I also picked up a another um, NARS radiant creamy concealer in the shade caramel um, you guys know I love this concealer and mine is almost out so I picked up another one of those and that's it from Sephora I, I just got a couple of things let's jump into Ulta next so from Ulta I picked up some of the new NYX lip products I got three of the NYX intense butter glosses um, I picked up the shades mm, toasted marshmallow black cherry tart and spice cake I will do little mini swatches for you guys there is toasted marshmallow I think I'm gonna love this one the most there is black cherry tart and spice cake right there 
two of the high voltage lipsticks. I got the shade Flutter Kiss, which is a very nice rosy pink nude shade, which is right there, if you can see. And then I also picked up Wine and Dine. These lipsticks are so creamy and pigmented and I just cannot wait to lather these all over my lips. Okay, also from Ulta, um, Urban Decay released a new Naked Skin Concealer. I have the foundation, I do like it, so I decided to pick up the concealer, under eye concealer, that's why this is so light. Um, the packaging is just like the foundation, I think it's so cute, I love it. Um, and then the cap is a twist off and it has a little doe foot applicator. So um, I got the shade medium dark neutral. So this will be an under eye concealer. Let me know if you guys want a review of this if you are interested to see what I think about it. Moving on, I picked up one of the Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection. I got the uh, Flat Contour Brush. This just looks so pretty and it's so intriguing that I decided to pick it up and I only got one because these things are expensive. It was like $23 or something. So um, I haven't used it yet, but I'm excited to give it a try. Lastly, from Sephora, I picked up the Stila All Day um liquid lipstick in the shade aria liquid lipsticks are just what's happening this year so i had to pick up this shade i've been wanting it for a really long time look at how pigmented this is it is so pigmented mm, it's purdy it's purdy so swatch city ladies swatches all over my hand Okay, and then from Walgreens, I just got one thing. I actually got this a long time ago, and I just found it in my car. But I have already, I already own the L'Oreal um, Voluminous M Miss Manga Mascara, and I love it. But this is the new Black Angel, and it has intense black pigments, and it amplifies and maximizes. So yeah, we'll see how this does. If you want a first impressions demo of this, let me know as well and I will be sure to do that for you guys. Lastly, I did get some things from One Runway Room. It is an Australian makeup brand, but they do ship worldwide. And can we just talk about how freaking cute this bag is that they sent the products in? Like, oh my goodness, it's so cute. It's a little purse and it Velcros and it just opens up. I just, it's so cute and I got tons and tons of goodies in here so um, I haven't really heard much about this brand so I'm excited to give it a try and let you guys know what I think but the first item is a blush in the shade pink punch the packaging is very 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 similar to Mac cosmetics packaging um this blush is huge though it's way it's the sizes of their powders so this is the size of max mineralized skin finishes and this is the side of the blushes they are identical size so you do get a lot of product and it looks like this very pretty the blush is very soft and it's very pigmented so there we go that is pink punch there i also got a couple of lipsticks in the shade Gypsy. It has ours here up top for runway room. And you guys know I love my deep vampy shades. So this is the shade Gypsy. And look at that. So creamy, so opaque, very pigmented. So there is that. And then I also got the shade CEO, which is this red shade. Again, these are so creamy and so pigmented. I am so excited to put these all over my lips. So there's that. I also got a gloss in the shade Desert Dust, which looks like this doe foot applicator. And it's a nudie brown shade, just a little bit of shimmer. I'm not sure if you can see right there. So that's 
Desert Dust. I also got their Power Lash, their mascara. I'm not gonna open this because I have so many mascaras to open. I don't wanna dry anything out. And then um, their Eye Definer Pencil. It is just a black pencil. And it's very soft and very black. So there's that. And then I also got their matte lip pencil in the shade Burgundy. It's like a big, nice, chubby pencil. There is Burgundy. And then I also got some lashes. You guys know I love my eyelashes. So I got the Lady Lash and the Liquidaceous Lash. I also got their concealer and Illum conceal and illuminate palette, and then one of their pigments in the shade Turkish Delight. It's um, like a brown, brown gold shade. I don't want to like show you guys because I don't want it to spill everywhere. So I didn't get too much because I'm on this pesky low buy. So yeah, I've been doing pretty well. So I still have ninety dollars left for the month and I still have $50 left in Sephora store credit. So yes, I am doing very well. I will be successful at this low buy. I am on a mission. So okay you guys, that is it for this haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed and yeah make sure you subscribe before you go so that you know when I upload videos also follow me on my social media because I am very active with you guys there and yeah until next time I'll see you in my next video bye guys like after wearing it every day for a week I've kind of got a good grasp on the foundation what works what